Mr. Shelley, your view of commitment might be influenced by what you observed in your parents. My parents divorced when I was growing up, says my wife's name, Amanda. And she worried that their experience had left her with a negative view of commitment. Be assured that you can make things different in your own marriage. You are not doomed to repeat your parents' mistakes. Let's read Galatians 6, verse 4 and 5. But let each one examine his own actions, and then he will have cause for rejoicing in regard to himself alone, and not in comparison with the other person, for each one will carry his own load. In the heat of disagreement with your spouse, refrain from saying things that you will later regret, such as I'm leaving you or I'm going to find someone who appreciates me. Such statements undermine commitment, and rather than address the issues at hand, they merely involve the two of you in an onslaught of insult. Instead of using hurtful speech, you might say something like this. Obviously, we're both upset. How can we work together to resolve this problem? Let's read Proverbs 12, verse 18. Thoughtless speech is like the stabs of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is a healing. Send out clear commitment signals. Keep a foot of your spouse on your desk at work. Talk positively about your marriage to others. Make it a goal to call your spouse each day, each day while you're away. Frequently talk about we and use phrases such as my wife and I or my husband and I. By such actions, you will emphasize to others and to yourself that you are committed to your, your spouse. Find healthy role models. Look to mature couples who have weathered marital problems successfully. Ask them, what does commitment mean to you and how has it helped you in your marriage? The Bible says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens his friend. Proverbs 27, verse 17. I will read that. It just says that as iron sharpens iron, so one sharpens his friend. Um, what that principle in mind, why not benefit from the life of those who have made their marriage a success? Let's go over the key scriptures. What God has shut together, let no man put apart. Matthew 19, verse 6. Each one will carry his own load of responsibilities. Galatians 16, verse 5. Footnote. Thoughtless speech is like the stabs of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is a healing. Proverbs 12, verse 18. If you and your mate are lost to each other, you enjoy a sense of permanence about your union. When you think about the months, years, and decades ahead, you will see yourselves together in the future. The thought of not being married to each other is utterly foreign, and this outlook brings security to your relationship. One wife says, it's not a scenario. Even when I'm mad, it's my husband. I'm, I'm most upset about what is happening to us. I'm not worried about our marriage coming to an end. I'm worried about how we are ever going to get back to where we were. I don't have a doubt in order that we're going to get back. I just can't see how right then.